there and welcome to the clinic. So today I'm going to do your cataract assessment. Your previous optometrist saw you and referred you to me. So just looking at the notes here, you feel that your left eye has become more progressively blurred compared to your right eye. There has been an increase in the amount of glare, and light scatter general light sensitivity you've been experiencing particularly with night driving you're struggling more with the television viewing and you're struggling more with your reading so I have everything I need from the previous optometrist but we are going to do a few extra tests so first up cover your left eye going to check your vision the reduced Snellen chart here. So just read down on the chart as far as you can for me, please. Lovely. Okay. Cover the other eye. Just switch over now. Okay, just looking through the left eye. Read down as far as you can for me, please. Tell me when you can't do any more. Have a guess. Anything on this row? That's absolutely fine. Okay, you can uncover the eye now. I'm going to check your eye pressure. Okay, just looking up to the ceiling. I'm going to pop a drop of anaesthetic into your eye. Tingles ever so slightly. The one, take a few blinks, and the left one. Excellent. Just give yourself a moment as I set the Perkins to number two. Okay, this machine gently touches the front of the eye. Your job is to Breathe normally, keep both eyes open. Just rest against the forehead, bring it against the eye, adjust the dial, line up the Myers, perfect. 17. For the left eye blink, now look straight, look through the machine, adjust the dial accordingly. We have a reading of 18 mil of mercury, lovely. Okay, so that's the eye pressure's done. Let's have a little look at your contrast sensitivity. Cover your left eye again. Another chart. Read along the row. As far down as you can for me, please. Tell me when you can't do it anymore. That's not too bad. Okay, cover the other eye again for me. Okay, just through your left eye now. Have a little look at the top. Read along for me. And this row. Okay, can you read any on this row? And what about this one? That's fine. If you could uncover the eye, both open for me, please. Okay, so when we said we're going to grade your cataract, you might be wondering what we're talking about. Well, have a little look at this grading scale I have here. This is the Lens Opacities Classification System. Number three, we're going to grade your age-related cataract using this scale we have three types you may have one type of cataract you may have a combination the type of cataracts we're looking for are posterior subcapsular cortical cataract and a nuclear type cataract nuclear 
is a haze within the crystalline lens. Cortical cataract is like sparks which can come across from any part and encroach on the vision. And the posterior type of opacity and the posterior portion of the crystalline lens which gets progressively worse. This is what we'll be looking for, grading the type and severity of your cataracts there. Okay, we're going to grade using two methods. We're going to have a little look with the ophthalmoscope and the slit lamp. But first we have to dilate your pupils, have the eye drops here. It's going to take about 20 minutes for the drops to work. So looking up, I drop in the right, take a few blinks, I drop in the left, have another few blinks, I'm just going to pinch the bridge of the nose, just so your eye can absorb more of the drops, just blocking the drainage system ever so gently there. Good. Okay, I want you to have a seat in the waiting area. I'll call you back through in about 20 to 25 minutes. Hello there and welcome back. I hope you're sitting comfortably. I'm going to have a little look at your eye with the ophthalmoscope. Paying particular attention to the crystalline lens. I'll have a look at the type of cataract that we may be dealing with in the right eye. So I have a little bit of nuclear changes there. Possibly grade two to three. Okay, just look to the right hand side. And the left side. Looking up to the ceiling. Okay, looking down as I lift the lid. Okay, no evidence of cortical cataract or posterior subcapsula. It's likely grade two to three nuclear type cataract. Okay, keep looking straight. Look at the left. This is your worst eye of the two, you feel. Maybe grade four nuclear there. But we'll have to use the slit lamp. Look right. Straight ahead. Yes. Okay, it's definitely a combination cataract in the left. We're looking at nuclear, cortical, possibly grade four at an estimation. I think we'll have to have a little look on the slit lamp just to confirm this. Sit back and relax for me. Okay, so let me just set up the slit lamp for you. Do an optical section on the crystalline lens. Okay, just try and look in this direction of my hand. And just sweep across. I'm going to increase the brightness. See the maximum. Good. This side now. Good. Okay, so if I just focus like so, just checking the nuclear sclerotic changes in the right eye. Okay, so we're looking at a grade two to three. In the right eye, so mild to medium nuclear cataract. No signs of cortical opacities or that posterior subcapsular type. Thinking back to that grading scale. Okay, right. 
just moving across to the left. Just wait to look towards my left ear in this general area. Okay, just focus in. Maximum brightness. Thin the beam down. Okay, from the temporal side. Just to the nasal side there. With the left eye, that's definitely more cataract, which ties up with the blurred vision in this eye. So I'd probably say we're looking at a grade four nuclear cataract. Cortical element as well. Grade four, more from the inferior temporal side starting to encroach along the visual axis but I think with all the results we have that we're going to refer you for your left eye surgery okay so the way it works is I'm going to fill the results out for you I'm going to send the referral to the local eye hospital who will then contact you for a pre-op assessment with the ophthalmologist. I'll then book you in for surgery within a few days and do a post-op check within a few days after surgery and you'll be taking eye drops every day for about four weeks. So let me get you a leaflet about cataract surgery and I'll see you to the front desk.